Hello and welcome adventurers! I'm Mary, and in this video I'll be discussing the history and story around Sestasha. This is the first video in a series covering the dungeons of Final Fantasy XIV, so stop shivering your timbers and let's get started. Sestasha Seagrot is a series of caverns eroded into the western shores of Vilbrand that extend inland. Sestasha means many shells in the Sahagan language, and they used the caves as spawning pools. The legendary pirate Mistbeard was said to have driven out the Sahagan approximately 50 years before the Seventh Umbral Calamity. He and his crew used the sheltered coves to build docks, private quarters, and a tavern. The port would thrive until Mistbeard suddenly vanished in 1555, leaving its facilities untended. In 1.0, this area was known as Mistbeard Cove and was accessible from Bald Knoll, an area north of present-day western Lenotia. Certain areas of the cove, the Slop House and the Whale's Cage, were inaccessible due to a closed gate. The only time players could access these areas was during the Lambs of Dalamud event, between patches 1.20 and 1.21. A man named Addison would appear in the city-states and claim his daughter Milber had been kidnapped by the cult and escaped through a nearby Aethernode. This turned out to be a trick to lure adventurers in as sacrifices, since both Addison and Milber were members of the Lambs. One of the locations the node could connect to was the Slop House in Mistbeard Cove. Parts of Mistbeard Cove collapsed and became inaccessible in the aftermath of the Calamity. The Sahagan spawning grounds were also destroyed, which was the catalyst for the Sahagan seizure of Vilbrand territory. The Sahagan tasked the Serpent Reavers, pirates and thrall to Leviathan, to reclaim Sestasha. The repopulation of these caverns would remain hidden for years. The Reavers, led by Captain Madison, kept a family of corals to safeguard the inland entrance and to fool locals into thinking the caves were simply a coral den. The caverns began drawing attention when locals reported sightings of suspicious men and unknown ships in the area. Yellowjacket Commodore Rainer Hansrit petitioned the aid of adventurers through Bedarin of the Drowning Wench. Our soon-to-be Warrior of Light takes the job and travels to the inland entrance to Sestasha. Upon arrival, we meet Elaine and her grandfather Ilsidor, an adventuring duo who also hope to solve the mystery of Sestasha. There's also a party of adventurers harassing their healer, Edda, for taking too long to buy potions. The gladiator of the group, Aver, heckles us, saying his group should be the ones who were given the job. Guess he's just trying to get ahead in life. Upon entering Sestasha, we discover a hidden note left by the Serpent Reavers. It's an easily discernible code to know which switch in the Coral Den isn't booby-trapped. The correct switch reveals a hidden door, but draws the attention of a nearby Coral. Behind this door is a very surprised Captain Madison, who retreats further into the caverns. The soon-to-be Warrior of Light and Party give chase, passing through the remnants of Mistbeard's Slop House on the way. Numerous young women are also in parts of these caves, 
the victims of kidnapping for unsavory purposes. We finally meet back up with Captain Madison at the Sultana's lap, just in time to see him struck down by Den the Orca Toothed, in retaliation for intruding upon the spawning grounds. Den challenges the party and is defeated. We return to the Drowning Wench to give our report and see Badaren speaking with a group of adventurers inquiring about the Sustasha job. The party's leader, Dolores Bear, expresses regret that they were too slow to take the job themselves and how they wish to inspire future adventurers with their feats of heroism. The party wishes you well as they leave and Badaren congratulates you for solving this mystery. What did you think when you first saw Sestasha? Do you have any stories to share? Let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like or subscribing. I also stream on Twitch. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, adventurers, remember, you matter, and may you ever walk in the light.